All right, on number one, um, the first thing that I would notice here is that we've got a rational equation. So I know in the graph to look for vertical asymptotes. I know it's not going to be a straight line or a parabola or a, a cubic graph. Um, in part A, we're asked to find the cost to clean 0% of the spill. If you look at the setup, X is the percentage of the spill that you're cleaning up and Y is the cost. So you just plug in X equals 0 to find the cost and 0 divided by anything is 0. And in part B, we're just plugging in 50 for X. And um, of course, if you have a calculator, you just multiply this out and simplify it. This one happens to be able, I mean, simple to simplify by hand if you make this observation that 67.5 over 135 is just one half. Probably if I gave something like this to you on an exam and asked you to figure that out and simplify it, um, then I would, I would try to give you fairly simple numbers to work with. I don't need to see you write out a really long calculation of multiplication and then division. But basically all you're doing for these is just plugging in an X value and calculating a Y. So I just want you to make sure that you know, that you understand um, why you're just plugging in a number and calculating the Y value there. And then once you get all these numbers, um, we're going to graph this. So I will want to think about what this graph looks like. So I already know I'm going to have a point at X equals zero, Y equals zero one at x equals 50 and y equals two, and then another one at x equals 90 and y equals 10. And then for this last part, um, I'm wanting to point out to you that to clean up almost all of the spill, you're going to have to spend a lot more money. So the point of, of using a model like this is to kind of figure out where how much money you want to spend in order to clean up an amount that you're happy with. And in part D, if you punch in 99.9% of the spill, you get out over $3 trillion. So now to sketch the graph, um, we're not going to worry about that last point. I'm just going to scale it with the, the first three points. So I'll just make the Y values go up to 10 billion. And then something that's important about the graph is that if you look back at the equation, if you plugged in X equals 100, that would give you zero in the denominator. And that means we have a, rat, we have a uh, vertical asymptote at X equals 100. So that's the first thing that I'll sketch. And then I'll just plot my points and connect them with a smooth curve and take into account that I've got that asymptote. I know my smooth curve starts at zero, zero. It has to hit those points and then it has to shoot. It has to keep going up as I get closer to a hundred. So it just shoots straight up, almost straight up from there. Remember at 99.9, .9, it would have to hit 3.4 billion, uh, 3.4 trillion. 